Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning at 9.30, and I'm super proud of myself because I am up and Adam, and I am on my way to yoga right now. Woo! This will be my third yoga class of the week, so I am almost at my four class per week goal. Not gonna make it for this week, but I was happily surprised to be able to go to this yoga class this morning. So, last night we were literally in Walmart at midnight, at midnight. So I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get up and go to yoga. So I'm very proud of myself. I think I was in bed, head on the pillow, at one o'clock. So I didn't get, I mean, I, I try for eight hours. Hopefully I got seven something. So I actually feel pretty good. So I think I did good. I'm super happy to go to yoga. So today you guys, we are using one of my super duper special tickets. Special, rare. <clears throat> you can tell it's still morning, right? I've only been up for 20 minutes. <laughs> So we're using one of my super duper special tickets to go to Disneyland. Yes, that's right. You guys probably know I, as an employee, am completely blocked out on weekends from now until January. So there's almost no hope of me even seeing Disneyland for the holidays. But I have a very, very few very special and very rare tickets that we get just twice a year to go. So we are using these special tickets, not my regular entrance, to go to Disneyland today and I'm super excited. So also we are taking Eddie's mom. She hasn't been to Disneyland since she was like, so I think Eddie said since Abby was like four. So maybe like 10 years ago, 11. Um, she's never been with us, so she's never done Disneyland Eddie and Julie style. So <laughs> that's right. We're going all food all the way, guys. This is going to be a foodies paradise blog. So if you are easily swayed and triggered by amazing looking food, <laughs> skip my video today. Um, but yeah, so today I, I don't even know if I'm gonna track because I feel like it's I'm gonna be lost I know there's a way to track everything um, But I don't know if I'll have the time to actually search through the tracker and if I have enough battery power I'm gonna try to track everything so We'll see if I can do that then I'll try to put points on the actual pictures uh, because it will it will have to be um, kind of an afterthought thing. So I will do my best. We are going to try one old favorite and lots of new ones. So I'll show you guys the day as it unfolds. Right now I am headed to yoga, get my bliss on, and um, gosh, maybe I'll actually get my steps today since we're at Disneyland, which is great since today is the start of a new week in the October Fitbit Challenge. That's right, guys. Weeks go from Sunday to Saturday because October 1st started on a Sunday. So this is a new week today, Sunday to Saturday. Hopefully I can get six out of seven days. Last week I did so much better. Thanks to all of you guys and your awesome motivation. I got five days out of seven, so better. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off, head to yoga, and I will catch you guys later at Disneyland. Okay, that is the best yoga class I am going to right now. It is challenging. It makes me sweat. <laughs> it's challenging because the poses are very challenging. There's also a sequence that goes, not fast, but the movement actually makes me sweat, gets my blood pumping. There's a lot of challenging um, balancing poses, which I love, but which are very challenging and this guy his name is Mikey he's so good because as you're in the pose he explains what you're supposed to be doing how your body is supposed to be aligned what you should be focusing on and he basically just walks you through it he's so good and I just found out I asked him he teaches hot yoga which I have been wanting to try so he actually teaches hot yoga in 
Pasadena, not in Glendale, which I kind of needed it by my work, but I may be able to get to Pasadena soon enough. I don't know. He teaches at a real, like a regular studio, a regular yoga studio in Pasadena. So I'm kind of excited. I might have to use my Christmas yoga money to check it out. So hot yoga. I got to check out the schedule. But anyway, I just had to tell you guys, Mikey is awesome. Great class. Okay guys, we finally made it to Disneyland. It was a super long car ride, lots of traffic, but we're finally here and here's my outfit of the day. But more importantly, here are my ears of the day. Those are the infamous rose gold ears that took us forever to find. We didn't actually even find them. One of Eddie's friends did, Nancy did. Thank you so much, Nancy. Aren't they beautiful, guys? So beautiful. And now I have to show you guys Eddie's awesome socks. Not awesome sauce, awesome socks. Let's see your socks, They're Eddie. Red socks. Better my, my mom should get Even Eddie's mom has her Mickey hat on. Where is she? She's still in the restroom, but we are all blinged out and ready to go Disney style to Disneyland. Okay guys, you just saw the Monte Cristo three cheese awesomeness from Cafe Orleans. Plus we had garlic fries with a Cajun aioli sauce. Super delicious. Now we're at the Stage Door Cafe and this amazing thing is here for Halloween only. It is the Campfire S'mores Funnel Cake. It is a Campfire S'mores Funnel Cake with chocolate, chili ganache, toasted marshmallow sauce garnished with graham cracker crumbs and crushed peanut butter candy. Oh my gosh. How does one calculate points for this, I ask you? You guys, I'm so excited. I love this pumpkin. We are about to get our picture taken in front of the Mickey pumpkin. Yay! The Halloween thing might be spooky for little ones. Yeah. They said they're, they're scary clowns. <laughs> Happy birthday, Schmozy Poo! Oh, googly bear! <laughs> Wow, it rolled me up and down like a yo-yo. It was horrible. I'm minding my own business when this human child throws me with his tongue. Oh, boo, we gotta get you home. Trying to understand. 
again. Oh. Come on, this way. Oh. We have a 2319 in progress. Got you. Spread out and lock it down. There's nothing down here. Be on the lookout for this child. Yeah, nothing exciting ever happens. Hurry up, Sully, hurry up. I've got both doors set up on the scare floor. Are you done yet, though? <laughs> Race you to the scare floor. They'll never find her door now. Good night, Pooh. Kitty! Kitty's gotta go now. Sleep down. Hyperion behind me. Did that make you dizzy? That made me dizzy. Hi, Eddie. And it's time for a quick costume change. Halloween ears. Yeah.
Okay guys, this is the wall of memories. This is where you write down the memories of your loved ones who have deceased and um, tie them here. This is like, this is only one wall. There's another wall also over there that is completely full of memories of loved ones, family members. We are actually here after hours so we don't get these cute little <laughs> papers here because they are closed but we wanted to write a memory of our loved ones that we are missing as well so the three of us took some time to write a memory about Ed's dad and we put our memories right here napkins guys ours are right here on the napkins but we wanted to take part in this little tradition as well. Eddie's mom is writing her memory over here. And she's going to add it to the wall. We put ours over. Ours are right here. Thinking of Eddie's dad, who passed away from cancer two and a half years ago. And we still miss him very very much so we're adding our memories of Ed Almanza to this wall of memories in California Adventure okay guys I'm walking super fast because I have 15 minutes to get our last treat before the show starts. We're trying to catch the World of Color show at California Adventure. <laughs> starts at 9.45. I'm headed all the way to Cars Land to get our last little treat of things that we wanted to try today. So I have 15 minutes to get it and get back. I'm walking super fast. And no, I'm nowhere near my steps for the day. So that's a bummer, but been fun. <laughs> it's Mater, guys. It's Mater all decked out for Halloween.